What's up guys, Kevin Lucize here, and today we're gonna do a cool chest workout. I think it's gonna be chest? Chest workout. My girlfriend's gonna do all the filming. Check, say hello. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are, are you, you ready? ready? Jaden, are you ready? Are you ready? Flex a little bit. Yeah. Enjoy the vlog. Yes guys, so first things first, I'm gonna show you guys what I take during my workout. <coughs> the first thing I take is always my uh, BCAs. You always need BCAs to secure the gains. So uh, that's the first thing I take. And then the intro workout, this is like a workout booster. I always take it also from Trek Nutrition. And last but not least, I always take my glutamine. And uh, these are things I just drink during my workout. So um, I sip it uh, gradually and then towards the end of my workout, the drink is finished. So these are always the three stacks that I use when I'm working out. And after my workout, I take a um, protein shake. This is the one I'm using currently right now. It's apple pie flavor, pretty good. For the BCAs, I always take two scoops. One, two. Intro workout, same thing. I always take two scoops. One, two. And glutamine, same thing. It's about two scoops. One, two. So that's it. Why you do two scoops and not one scoop? It's like 30 grams, something like that, 30 or 20 grams, something like that. So that's that's about two scoops. So that's why I always take two scoops. And then you know what it is? Mix it with water. Yeah. You want to play? Yeah. So that's what you want to show the people that you're playing? Yeah. Okay. So this is how it looks like when I mix it with water, put this on top. Shake it. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it like a soul shaker. <laughs> so that's it. Ah. So that's it. Tastes pretty good. I always make sure I put enough BCAs so it's a bit sweet. See you guys at the gym. First thing I always do is I do, uh, um, how would I say, my upper chest was always the weakest. So for like, I think like three years now, I always start out with this, get the blood flowing, warm up the chest first. And uh, I try to do most of the time when I'm at my original gym, I try to do as much incline as possible. So I always tell most people, always start to, with the muscle group that you're most weak at, or at least the body part that's lacking, or maybe the part that's lacking. For example, I have, my chest is pretty full down here. Here was pretty weak. Now, of course, during the course of the years, it's filled up pretty nicely. But I always start warming up the upper chest. Training chest, I always try to keep the tension on the chest. So some people go You're all the way out. You're sweating already. Some people go all the way out. I never go all the way out. Just try to keep it here. Always try to keep the tension on the chest. So I come down here, pump it up right back up. Yep. Thing and by the way, it's not sweat, it's baby oil. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Yeah, yeah. You know we go we were going so to film. Show, show you guys, stay like this. See, the chest is already engaged. And then Get the chest warmed up. So I think I'm gonna do this one more set. Now I'm gonna superset it. So it's probably gonna do this. I'm 
we use this machine as well. Originally, I trained at Multisport. It's a hardcore gym. But the thing about when we make videos, sometimes it tends to be a bit too dark. So because of the feedback, this is another gym. I'm trying to make some more tutorials for you guys. So you have to switch it up. That's it. I like to keep the tempo high when I'm working out. So not too much breaks. Now you are tricking your my your, mix. Your mix. So my BCA intro workout and glue to me. And what you want? So usually I do a lot of variations, but to be honest, in this gym, that's not so much. So they have like one or two machines for chest. That's about it. So what I do a lot of times, if there's not so much equipment as I'm, as I'm used to, try to superset it, superset it back to back, back to back, back to back. Like normally at Multisport, we have a lot of machines for chest. I tell a lot of people, I don't do like benches for chest. I don't do free weights for chest. So maybe I'll do some cable flies, but in general, I always stick to machines because most of the time, so a lot of people try to do free weights or try to do bench press. What do they get end up with? Injuries. I'm injury free. I do a lot of machines. I do some cable in between. That's it. I always try to do machines because a machine helps you to be in the position. And all you have to do is just focus on contracting the chest, coming back, stretching the chest, and contracting the chest. That's it. So that's what I've been doing for like, Maybe seven ten? years now. Oh, now seven years. Yeah, yeah, seven years, eight years. And all I do is just machines for my chest. I don't do any free weights, I don't do any bench press, just machines. And they work, so I'm proof.
being created. It's actually a back puller machine. Sure. I always like to do some like uh, alternated dips here. So uh, this will be a relaxed exercise. Just get some more blood flowing. That's it. How long do we do this workout? 20 minutes? 20 minutes. It's about 30 minutes chest workout. Let's try to keep the intensity high. As I said, back to back. That's it. So you don't need to be at one hour, two hour in the gym to get a muscle group done. Just make sure you keep the intensity high. At 30 minutes, sometimes even 20 minutes is enough. Just gotta do it back to back, back to back. Minimum rest. Really concentrate on the muscle. So don't go through the movements, really concentrate on the muscle. So that's my advice for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like and subscribe. And I'm gonna see you guys next time. Peace.